Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Herpa Scenic Series Airport Accessories. So let's get into it. So on the front of the box you have Scenic Series 1 to 500 uh, cut out of the box where you can see all the accessories which are included. Then you have Herpa Miniature Model uh, and then a Herpa logo. On the back of the box you can see uh, again, Herpa Miniature Model, Herpa Logo, Scenic Series, some writing in German and some writing in English. Then you can see the barcode and some extra information in different languages. Uh, on the left side of the box, uh, you can see the Herpa website and the Herpa Logo. And then on the right side, you can it's just literally the same as the left. And then on the bottom, it's just red with the Herpa logo. And then on top, it's white with the Herpa logo. So with that out of the way, let's unbox this and take a closer look at all of the accessories which you get in this set. Okay, so here's what you get in the set. So the largest piece is this brilliant Jetway. Uh, I won't be using it, however, because it's uh, slightly small for 1 to 400 aircraft but if you do collect 1 to 500 aircraft uh, it's a brilliant addition for your airport and yeah I'd use this if you do collect 1 to 500 because it does look outstanding. Uh, moving on we have these uh, smaller air stairs these can fit uh, most narrow body 1 to 400 uh, aircraft so they're really handy to have on your airport, especially mine, because I collect so many 1 to 400 narrow bodies. And yeah, they're really good. And then we have the larger air stairs, which can fit aircraft up to 747s. Uh, I've tested it out on a 747 and it does reach the door. So yeah, you can use it on 747s and 767s. Uh, and aircraft like that, which are slightly higher. Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah, it's the same mold as uh, the smaller air stair, just with uh, an extra level to it. Then moving on to the bus, quite standard really, just some printed on windows, however, it does get the job done. Uh, it is quite small, however, I do prefer it to the Gemini Jets one because the Gemini Jets one is way larger and it's just bulky and in the way all the time. Then moving on, we have a pushback truck. Uh, it's really nice actually. Uh, it does get the job done. Uh, I wish it had a tow bar on the front because I know some Herpa pushback trucks have the tow bar on the front, which is molded on. However, yeah, it's still really nice, still useful to have on your airport. Moving along, we have a fire truck. Uh, yeah, it's just a standard fire truck, really. Uh, I don't really use the fire trucks often on my airport, but they could be handy if you want to have like an emergency situation at your airport. So yeah, again, really handy, and it gets the job done. Then we move on to the cargo stuff. So this is one of the cargo loaders. Uh, this is in the high position. Again, this only really uh, fits narrow body 1 to 400 aircraft, but it's still really useful if you wanna have it in like maybe a cargo center or like just around an aircraft just for the scene. Then we have the lower cargo loader. Again, fits uh, 1 to 400 narrow bodies. And yeah, you can just use it however you like. Uh, I use it on my narrow bodies. And then we have this strange piece. I'm not quite sure what it is, but um, my guess is it's something to do with uh, these cargo loaders. Maybe um, you put it on top or you put it um, just before it, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, maybe if someone knows, leave it in the comments because I'm quite curious. And then we have a, uh, a belt loader, again standard, 
I know some herb uh, belt loaders have like the, they have uh, yellow and black stripes on the side. Um, however, this one doesn't have it. It's quite a shame. Um, however, it still gets the job done and yeah, can't really complain. Then we have a de-icer. Uh, this is pretty cool, um, but I don't really need it. Uh, maybe if you have an airport which is in like a really cold place perhaps you might want a few of these but I don't really need them um, however it's still good to have maybe if you want to have like a snowy scene at your airport one day then we have a uh, another like food uh, like Kato carrier uh, this is also uh, really nice, uh, much better than the Gemini Jets one, uh, however you can't uh, move it up and down like the Gemini Jets one, which is a shame. Uh, this does fit uh, A320s and 737s if you're wondering, but yeah, still pretty nice to have. Then we have this uh, a sort of car, it seems to be a follow me car. Again, uh, don't really need this. However, you can have them patrolling your airport if you'd like. And yeah, very detailed this, considering how small it is. And then, uh, second to last, we have the uh, you have the baggage, uh, like the carriers and the trolleys. Uh, this is really nice. Um, you can connect and disconnect all the trolleys, which are really nice. Um, yeah, and you can position it however you like. Uh, it is really small though, so be careful, because you can lose these very easily. Uh, and they do tend to pop out the um, the box when you open it. So yeah, just be careful. Uh, but this is brilliant as well. And then finally, we have this fuel truck, which I absolutely love. Um, in the past, Herpa have done Air BP fuel trucks, which I do have actually. Uh, they're really nice. Um, but yeah, uh, this fuel truck's really nice because you can position it however you like, and yeah, just yeah, it's just it really. Uh, and it really does look like a um a fuel truck that you'd see at an airport. Uh, and yeah, that's. Uh, that's the contents of this pack and now this is what it looks like with one of my narrowbody aircraft So yeah, this is just an example of what you can achieve with this set uh, This isn't even using all of the parts uh, This is just using a few So yeah, you can see some cargo loaders here The fuel truck there Food catering the Bus The air stair uh, The pushback truck the uh, fire truck and the uh, the car. And yeah, it can really uh, make your airport look uh, stunning. Like this is a really nice angle, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it looks like a real airport. Um, but yeah, this set's really nice because it's compatible with one to four hundred and quite a lot of narrow bodies. So yeah. That has been it for the review of the Harper Scenic Series Airport Accessories. So if you did like this, uh, make sure you uh, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.